Welcome to Rip Roaring Garage and today I've been putting this off for a while waiting for a nice sunny day where I can talk to different cameras. This is going to be an explosive episode because I literally am going to blow stuff up. Yeah, it's one of those. Before we get into all the, yeah, look at all this stuff. Uh, do want you to stick around because I do have an important message about my t-shirts. I don't do this to make money. Really, I make like two pennies, which is the minimum I can make, but somebody trying to steal from, you know, I ain't poor enough. Oh, I forgot something. Hey, get back here, stay. This is the filter. I think how you spell that, right? I don't know. Test Elmo Bob 5000. The plan is we're going to take one of each of these filters. First, I'm going to run some of this. It's actually the stuff I use for sandblasting, but it's the fine grit, which should do two things. One, it should pass through most crappy filters, and two, it should pierce holes through it. So what I want to test is, you know, how do they stand up to nasty air quality if you're taking the car off road? Also some moist stuff. Uh, I'm just using some random paint that's kind of almost done. And I'm going to be testing inside every single one of the filters. So uh, really, again, with these pressed freaking things, it's really difficult to find these things. Uh, I pretty much went to my local parts store and I picked up their brand, this Auto Extra. Edelbrock, uh, Spectre paper thingamabob, and they're supposedly reusable, washable things. So let's start with the cheapest one, and we'll take it from there. Oy. Oh, you really want to put sharp plastic in something that can pierce and tear and all that. Smart. My test rig here is really an old Edelbrock air cleaner with the vacuum holes, you know, professionally, not even duct tape because, you know, and because I really don't want to destroy this with the paint, I taped it. Oh, wow, look at that, how tiny it is. They said this was a 10 inch. This thing is nine inch, right? Okay, buddy. All right, let's do this. Go to hell. Yeah, some of these are not as advertised. This one is all sorts of different sizes, so. It'll block. This is the only one that's not made in China. Made in Taiwan. Uh oh. I'm feeling cocoa vibes. Very rubbery. 
Oh, of course you're tiny. Figures. Very undersized. Ooh. So I got my setup like this. I have the shop vac coming all the way up to the box. And I put a hole in it just for support. So, you know, stays kind of upright like that. Filter goes in there and uh, you know, you saw the rest. So, whew, it is hotter than two squirrels going at it in a wool sock. Eh. So, I'm gonna show you now the results. The Spectre paper filter. Now, as expected, pretty much all of them did well with the fine grit sanding material. Uh, however, the paint actually it did pretty okay. Maybe you see it better there. Okay, there's a little bit of penetration, all right. But overall, this um, cheap one did pretty good so far. Auto Extra was next. Now you can see there, uh, the gritty material did actually start to tear little holes in it. And I wasn't throwing, I was just holding it up there. That's not great. And it has some heavy seepage inside uh, the filter. Now granted, this is paint. You're, it's impossible to keep it all out, but this is more or less an extreme test. And the... All right, then we did the Edelbrock. Edelbrock Samson. Um, actually, that's hard to tell, but I don't see any tearing. Uh, you're not supposed to go by the... Okay, I had to shove the camera in the freezer because, you know, GoPros just cannot tolerate a little heat. Uh, now, I did kind of keep these all about five seconds uh, full blast. All right. And Edelbrock had a lot of bleed through, or whatever that's worth. It's a cheap, okay filter. Now let's go, bleh, look at that one. So this thing just seems to love clogging. Um, I don't think any air was passing through once it clogged this way. So I'm not particularly a fan of this, but look at that bleed through. I can actually twist it better. Uh, I mean, it, it really got in there deep. I don't think there's any washing that off. Huh, didn't rip through. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, this should do better with the wet stuff. Whatever, I don't care. We're not done with the most important test. We're about to get explosive. the boom boom part. So I'm gonna be using some starter fluid. Butane's a bastard gas. Um, ether. Try to get it all up in there. And then quickly, 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 try to. Boom. So that's the Spectre. We're gonna go over these in a bit. I don't know why it turned pink. Next is the Autolite, which doesn't like to stay. So what we're gonna do is put a wee bit less.
That should do it. And I'm gonna step back. Whoa! But again. Okay, that's bad. That's bad. Hot, hot. hot. Last one. No, no, last one. What is going on? Okay, that's gonna be bad. What the hell? Okay. Maybe fate is telling me something. <coughs> Maybe three times the extinguisher today is okay. It's done. But we still have one more thing. All right. What's gonna fall? So let's see what this does. Contact. Well. All right. Need on, need on. Whoa. <laughs> so, yeah. This is um, what I just did to my driveway and everything that I own. I don't think this is my brightest idea, but let's check the results. Okay, so starting off with the Spectrum. Okay, so there's some meltage, whatever. I think that's actually just the uh, extinguisher where it hit and packed in but it did get heavily singed as you can see there both inside and and out all right the um auto extra this is an auto plus brand i don't see any singeing to be honest okay so this did pretty okay edelbrock did get a bit uh toasty up here and here Ah, stuff stings. Surprisingly, this um, Spectra air filter cloth rewashable, uh, I don't see any singeing on it. Now, it might be something that I'm just, you know, not seeing, but. I hate saying this. I really do, because I like the old school stuff, which Ain't gonna lie, this uh, Auto Extra brand, it did pretty okay. Not so much with paint, but you know, it's gonna be spraying inside of your carburetor. And also this, the, the Spectra cloth thingamabob. Now I'm not testing out any of this stuff for long-term durability, how it actually filters. Um, if you guys have cars with carburetors, you know one of the big problems is getting toasty. And at times, 
you will burn right through. Now, if I would have done this one more time, like the equivalent of another backfire, you know, your timing's not right, you just did the engine, and you know, you just want to get it started to dial everything in, and bam, backfire. Next thing you know, you're sucking air through a hole. And if it's somewhere where you might not see it, you might as well not even have a filter at that point. So that's why it kind of spurred me to do this test. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I mean, look at my subscriber count. Nobody's sponsoring that. But um, this was just me being curious and having a little fun, you know. It has come to my attention that some of you I might be buying some uh, merchandise from an unapproved vendor. And I'm talking about the mechanic manicure t-shirt. Now, if you know what's good for your health, you're gonna buy it from the approved links that you see down below. You don't wanna make the Don angry, do you? Now, I don't wanna have to use violence. I'm a nice guy. Ask anybody around. I'm a pussycat, but if you buy it from one of those mama looks that put it on Amazon that take our work and you cheat us and they put one person in a t-shirt, we'll put 10 more in a hoodie. And if they dare to put a person in a hoodie, then we put an army out on the streets with the mechanic manicure. Capiche? So don't be a mama look. Get the right t-shirt from the links below. This way, you won't get to hear the Don say that you wound me. Now, excuse me. I may not have a mechanic manicure because I'm a made man. I don't get my hands dirty. Unless I really have to. But it won't be 10W40 under my fingernails if you get my drift. Eh? Huh? All right. Get out of here. Kiss the rain. <sighs> yeah, it was fun. Now I gotta go clean up. So, I'm Alexander the Great, and I'm telling you that 10W40 is thicker than blood. Guys. Welcome, uh, the welcome, welcome, yeah, welcome. Uh, I cannot speak today. Well, I do need a remaining elf. For, uh, I do need a remaining elf. My God, I, I do need a remaining air filter. So this will put aside. Buy the T-shirt. <laughs>